Um, so as a reply to that, as a reaction, everybody else has replied to it and has kind of seen what's happening and gave their two pence. The first one we're going to go over is Lush, 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 Lush and Comparado on their pod um, talking about it. Um, a very interesting way to react to it, right? L look at how they reacted to the news of Adam 22 cancelling all the shows. Oh, okay. But but it's like you're being weird. You want another bum if you wake up? Sure, let's do it. <laughs> <laughs> Do you hear that? This is probably the reason why Adam has cancelled all the shows. They're reacting to the news of Adam cancelling all of them. And Compa says to Lush, you're being all weird. You're all low energy. Do you want to bump so that we can kind of... Like, what? <laughs> <laughs> these guys are fucking freaks but i love them together they're so fucking bad for each other right they're basically enablers but especially when you've got a guy that's a legit multi-millionaire with a guy that enjoys all the drugs it's a fucking horrible combo but let's go again from the beginning for sure okay but but it's like you're being weird you want another bum if you wake up sure let's do it <laughs> <laughs> if that's what it's yeah. i got a piss too So, this, so so they all go to go get a bump they, they all go to go get a bump they all go to go get a bump you can hear them yo you know what i'm not gonna lie right i think this is where podcasting should go i think this is the next evolution of podcasting forget joe rogan platform forget those big interviews forget comedians trying to act funny the next avenue the next fucking frontier of podcasting is this degenerates getting on stream drunken them drinking themselves blind and doing all the drugs as they fucking continue to stream i think that's the next avenue maybe maybe unique was onto one maybe unique is actually a trendsetter you know some of you guys in the stream chat hate unique you don't like him you, you think he's fucking awful maybe unique was onto something Maybe that way of streaming and making content is actually the way to go because it's all dumb anyway, right? I'm all we're all doing dumb shit, myself included. It's all fucking dumb. We're talking about other people, talking about things, we're reacting to reaction to reactions. So why not make it a bit fun for the viewers by getting a bit fucked up, doing a bit of some exactly as Wingers Dinger says, some nose beers, having some actual beers, right? You see the modelos on there, right? You see all three of the empty modelos there. And by the way, modelos are not fucking weak beers, by the way. I've had a couple. They can get you licked very quickly, especially with their sugar contents. You think you're just drinking fucking juice, um, you know, with a bit of alcohol in it, and it gets you licked so quickly. He's got a whole box of modelos there on the floor. Look at that. He's got a bo whole box of modelos on the floor. So exactly, he's got he's got mouth beers and he's got nose beers on the on deck. And you know he's got a lot of them because he's allegedly he's a businessman that has like a restaurant. I think he's got also a weed business. I think someone mentioned Compa. I don't really know much about his businesses, but I know he's got that sushi restaurant and he's got a fucking weed thing. So he actually has money. Allegedly, suspect says he lives in a mansion. <laughs> yeah, we're real fool. I must love your life. I'm going to stop trying to be like informative and smart and stuff on my pods and stuff i'm just gonna start going for the degenerate route i think that's what i should be doing i should be going the degenerate route i should be on here like slumped out you know what i mean like having pauses and shit mouth drooling you know sniffing all over the place blowing my nose every two seconds jumping off stream quickly to go do a bit of you know have a bit of bump come back on stream and all twitchy and shit that's what i should be doing because that's actually the way forward because what would you guys rather do rather have me sit on stream watching fucking reddit videos that you could see yourself or you rather me watch those same reddit videos a bit <laughs> swaying left to right what would you rather huh me swaying left to right watching those reddit videos <laughs> exactly koila koila can you please ban yourself? Can you please time yourself out? I have no idea what you're talking about, my friend. Please time yourself out. <laughs> I don't know what you speak of. Please time yourself out. <laughs> please time yourself out. <laughs> Did you hear them?
can you hear these guys literally sniffing in the background entire fucking slugs god almighty bro and they wonder why adam 22 cancelled all the shows Oh, and by the way, is that normal, guys? Could you let me know in the stream chat? Is that normal for um, is that normal for uh, uh, Latina hotties in LA to be like just doing bums during the day? Because that lady that was sitting down, she jumped up straight away. I need to go to the toilet too. Like she's right on it. Is that normal for like the for the fucking what they call them for the chicas and shit over there? The little me Mexican, you know, maybe Honduran, maybe Guatemala, Nicaraguan hotties over there to be on the nose candies. Is that normal? Big up Austin Casey. Are you gonna go back to a beer and cat fund mater at the bottom? Yeah, 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 yeah. I might bring that back for one time only. Yeah. Oh, actually, well, you know what I'll do? I'll bring that back for no, 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 no. I'll bring that back for episode number three hundred. Is that coming up? Are we on three hundred? What episode are we on now? I don't even know what episode. What number are we on now? Are we past three hundred? I don't even know what what number I'm on. You know, I'm just out here making the content. What episode is this? Yeah, I'll bring it back for 300. We're on 238 now. I'll bring it back to 300. That's what I'm going to do. I'll bring it back for, for, for 300. I'll bring back a fat one as well. And I'll make and I'll make the meter. I'll make the meter like edge to edge. <laughs> I'll make the meter edge to edge, all right? It'll be like side, edge to edge meter. <laughs> and then also what I'll do is I'll give you guys the... I'll give you guys the hospital services number. I'll put I'll pin it in the stream chat. So if I conk out or I'm not I'm unresponsive for like more than five minutes, wherever you guys are around the world, you can call that for me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I have like local <laughs> or I have like some Narcan next to me. <laughs> That'll be fucking amazing. Yeah, that's what I'm gonna do. There we go. Also in case you gave me a good idea. Um, beer and Kep Fund, fucking, but this one will be a uh, beer and yak fun, right? Beer and sniff fun. That's what it'll be. It'll be one of those ones. I'll have that. But Jesus, these guys, man, these guys are. This is what podcasting should be, by the way. This is what it should be. Just degenerates on camera, going fucking crazy. It makes me think of Nick Ricata. Have you guys seen the pictures of Nick Ricata, by the way? Nick Ricata has gone fucking crazy, and he looks awful, right? He's clearly going through it. And people are also assuming that he might be on the on the hard drugs and drinking a bunch. Um, but that's what content creation should be about. It shouldn't be about people online basically trying to give you lessons and trying to give you, you know, um, trying to make you, I don't know, see the light in certain things and try to appear all smarter than what they are. Fuck all that shit. Degenerates on stream. Degenerates, degenerates, degenerates. Yeah, exactly. Oh, the still toe guy. Still toe guy. By the way, have you guys heard about that? Um, big up for the Kino Casino guys. Did you hear that still toe guy got divorced? That little blonde lady that he was with, they got divorced. Allegedly, the story goes that he actually got, he actually cheated on that girl. No, he actually cheated on his original wife with that lady anyway, which, you know, so it's probably karmic retribution. You know, how you get them is how you lose them. But yeah, that still toe guy is getting divorced. Fucking savage. How do people stream on gear? How do they do it? <laughs> oh, there you go. Nice little nose just to get the get the residue yeah. off the fucking mustache. All right. Yo, when I go to Austin, Texas, oh, when I go to Austin, Texas, right? When I go to Austin, Texas, when I'm at the comedy mothership, I'm going to be in there just wired. Do you know what I mean? I might, I might be one of the first to get chucked out of that place. Woo! Be screaming in the background. <laughs> yeah, so do these type of... Hold on. Do these type of girls... Is it normal for these type of ladies to be on the bit on, on the nose cone candies also? Because I don't know about you guys, but in the UK anyway... It's kind of looked down upon a bit. So a lot of those girls wouldn't do it or would kind of hide it because they don't want to, you know what I mean? I guess, you know, you know what I'm saying? Like Hispanic girls usually in London don't really get on that sort of stuff for the most part. Wait, what? Yeah, she is wired. They're all wired, aren't they? Look at them. They're all wired. Do you have a lighter? I need to light this. 
Okay. Okay. So is it okay if I get drink? Yes. <laughs> You're on camera, fool. That's <laughs> wait, wait, just, just let's just like. Damn, we need someone to roll another joint. So look. I need to roll another joint. Is there a rolling tray here? Being a functioning addict must be being a high functioning addict must be very. <laughs> big up oh, Joel from MIA. I love that. I love that. Austin Casey, good. Austin Texas, bad. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <gasps> oh, being a high functioning addict must be its own type of hell, isn't it? Like being able to achieve great things or do your work and also be an addict must be on its own type of prison because you can't get through the day without doing stuff. It doesn't seem to hurt you financially, right? Career wise, you seem to be doing okay. But it's also slowly killing you, isn't it? Because Compa's a cool dude, man. I like him, but the guy's doing too much, bro. Like, too much. He's always looking ratty. He must be on it every single day. He's always twitching and going fucking what? Like, and he's already kind of, he already said, I think, on one stream that he's got ADHD. Like, he was clinically diagnosed as having ADHD. And he was prescribed Adderall back in the day. Or not Adderall. Whatever it is they treat ADHD with. I'm not sure it's Adderall. I think it might be Xanax. Whatever they treat it with. Um, so imagine somebody that's already got ADHD getting fucking coked up every single day and then going on stream and performing. It's not a good combo, man. He needs to fucking relax. There is. You're afraid that... Okay. Nah, fool. I'm Your getting... Your wife? Huh? Your wife's getting mad? No, fool. Like, don't worry about that. You're getting panicked out? What is it? No. So okay, so what is it? I want to get some. If drink. anyone has a problem with anything, we'll all vocalize it. So yeah, everything's yeah. good. Yeah, we're good, fool. Yeah. Well, I want to see good. her vocal. This is the conversation you have at an afters. Has anybody else had this kind of conversation at an afters, where you're trying to all comfort each other and reassure each other that you're not all fucking degenerate addicts and shit, and you're not all kind of, <laughs> you know, this sounds like one of those conversations. <laughs> yeah, everything's good. We're all good. It's all good. Yeah, everything's good. Today. I, I need to roll a joint. Oh, what the fuck am I holding this for? I need to roll a joint. Oh, this, I think there's some two in. Oh, there is? Can you roll it for me? Can you roll it for huh? me? Hold on. Oh, shit. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on. Everyone's so jumpy. Honestly, I fucking love it. Anyway. You see how the jump, everybody knows the stream chat was going on. Everybody in the stream chat knows what's going on. They all know what's going on. We've all seen this um, scenario. Um, anyway, so that's that, right? And then we're going to watch an actual bit of the video of them actually talking. This is from a little bit into the actual clip. I tried to show you that anyway, but this is an actual clip from their podcast where they actually talk about it in length. So we're going to go over what they actually said, how they responded. So I'm going to see how they actually were feeling because that came a, a little bit further down in the pod when they were kind of trying to comfort themselves to not feel super bad. So let's watch how their actual reaction was about the whole thing. We are live. Yeah, exactly, 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 exactly. Big up, Wingus. 7 a.m., sun's coming through the curtains. Kids are going to school and you're sat there putting the world to rights. You go on a beer run at 8 a.m. It's Tuesday. Oh. oh. Try not to make eye contact with the fucking teller. But they know, you know? I'm sure, like, every person that's worked in a store like that knows the person that has been up since like friday you can tell the difference of somebody that's going out to get quickly some eggs in the morning before they get to work and you can tell the difference between somebody that's literally been up for like 17 days you can probably tell god almighty they probably people that have worked in supermarkets and like stores and shit off licenses bodegas they probably got stories to tell they have some stories we are live y'all What's cracking? Back with another installment. You feel me? This is the worst podcast ever. Paris is not happy right now. He's the only one happy because he, he still has his job. I look, bro. First of all, should we start it with a prayer? Yes, of course. I mean, yeah, I think. Yeah, think, right. think, think that the Tuesday show is on. <laughs> man, <laughs> oh man, it has begun. Jesus Christ, Son of the Heavenly Father, thank you for the many blessings you bestow upon us. Please forgive us.
of course the raging cokeheads are fucking having a prayer before they start stream can you imagine this i love us humans in it i love us humans i love us humans <laughs> for our sins and trespasses on our fellow man woman and you my lord in your name we pray amen with that being said oh whoops did i say 17 days i meant seven <laughs> kawaii <laughs> cheers hey congrats homie you winning i'm winning it's like my left nut's still in there and at the end of the day at the end of the day <laughs> no, but like Adam specifically said, nobody's fired. You're still a part of No Jumper. No, he's not. There's still a bunch of dope content that you've been a part of. If Adam is smart, he keeps Comparada around. Because as bad as these are, guys are for each other health-wise, entertainment value, these guys are fucking blockbuster. These guys are Netflix. These guys are fucking Netflix. As content, as entertainment, these guys are neg flicks. So if if, if fucking Adam Twenty Two is smart, he keeps Comparator around because these two together, whoo, match made in heaven. That hasn't even dropped yet. You know what I mean? You're a good friend, fool. You know I love you, fool. Yeah, we are a good friend. But it's like, <laughs> but <laughs> <laughs> he's he, he's the act out. How many times have you said? How many times have you professed your love for your friends? Huh? How many times have you professed your love for your friends mid mid sesh? <laughs> Profess your undying support and love for your friends. Big up Theodore. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you, Adam Sixteen, for providing me with enough cash to carry my bender into the fall. <laughs> exactly, exactly, exactly. Exactly. Thank you, Heavenly Father, Adam Sixteen, for providing me or for um what you call it? For paying the invoice off. That I was waiting for for seven months. Now I'm gonna buy myself all the fucking grimes and get fucking loaded. That's what he's probably saying. Big up Theodore. Big up Theodore. <laughs> Talk about it. Talk about it. Let's have it there. All right. Let's day. analyze this. Okay. So today, that that, that post that post that we posted that went that went. Oh, we haven't done it. Come on. Okay. All right. So, <laughs> so listen. Fuck it. That no. post with that one. Yeah. I've seen people like, your show's canceled, ha ha. All the shows, and I thought they were just trolling, like, all oh, these shows are just hating on the sick one. And then when we went to go do um, the, the episode today, you pulled me to the side and told me, hey, fool, um, all shows are canceled. I'm like, oh, what? And this was after Adam had made a statement. I didn't see it, but I was so into my own shit, you know, because I've been bending, you know? Right. And then we called him. We FaceTime him. You know what I mean? He just say you let, you and know. it's love, fool. You feel yeah. me? Like, like Adam rocks with you heavy. He does. But we don't know where it's going now, huh? Well, we gotta, we, you gotta really like analyze it. You're a business owner, you know what I mean? Like, from a business owner perspective, we, there's a lot that we're not privy to, as far as the bottom line. You know what I mean? It's not me. I'm entertainment. I'm an employee. I show up. You feel me? I do my job. You can show up with I your did. knee pads and do your thing. <laughs> Apparently, I got titanium knee pads. You feel good for whatever reason, by the grace of God. By the way, Compa seems to be really annoyed and pissed off that he's not a part of No Jumper. Really interesting, isn't it? Maybe he's not got a lot of friends and stuff, even though he makes a lot of money and he's successful. Maybe he actually liked the company. He liked being around with those guys. He liked having somewhere to go. Like, he actually seemed to be kind of cut up about it. He doesn't need no jumper, like, for money and stuff. He's clearly got his own. But he actually enjoyed just hanging around. He's actually really annoyed, you know? He's really pissed off. Kind of funny. God, you know, I'm still got motion over there. But I, I don't think that any shows that have been, like, I, I don't know if this is a permanent thing. Yeah, I don't yeah. know if this is temporary. Like... All I know is in the entertainment industry, you always have to be ready. Yeah. You gotta expect I, I see that now. You I see that. I mean? But you know what I'm glad about? That we linked up, homie. I'm glad that we linked up. Oh, bless And him. we got this tight. And then, bless so him. it's like, bless him. If we're going to keep this shit popping. So we're all going to work, but if no jumper uh, causes us back, well, you're there. I'm, I'm there. I'm down. And, and I wouldn't, you know what I mean? Like, I wouldn't be surprised. Like, I think that is uh, a mistake that a lot of people make in situations like this is they just go completely rogue and crash out and, mm. and like crash he's done. out before so like he's done so let's just learn this lesson 
let's see things how they play out don't go too crazy and go from there big up lush he's he's growing up it's taking him fucking 40 years but he's finally getting there he's realizing it's not worth crashing out see how it plays out there's definitive plans for what's going to happen next so you know like i think everybody that yo big up Assad. tbh if you grow up low income in cali you have a mexican homie just like compa that's why he's so endearing yeah i i agree with that and i think that's a great point fantastic point i never actually thought about that but i think that's why if i lived in la i would definitely have way more mexican friends i think than probably even black friends i think i think because i i love i love their I, I like their vibe i like how fucking loyal they are i like that they're all always on a good time they work hard clearly when they fucking turn up they want to turn up they're always fucking laughing right it's always a family affair that would be where i'd be at i'm not gonna lie i think i'd be i'd have like quite a few mexican homies mexican hammies you know mexican hammies i think i definitely would have a few of those get pasa people out there for sure i would fucking love it that they would be my guys i'd love to hang out with for sure big up Asada disease that's been a part of no jumper in any capacity whether you're still there whether you're a part of this new incarnation or whether you were a part of it in the past and i'm saying since its inception years ago we've all benefited from this platform you know what i mean like, yeah I but sad full hour sad full hour Stay up, <laughs> i'm so lonely don't leave me lush don't worry you know <laughs> don't worry you know what I mean? nah, nah, lush ain't going anywhere you got the fucking eight balls mate lush ain't going anywhere Lush knows if you've got a pl if you've got a guy, especially somebody that's very giving, because I think Compa comes across like a very generous, sharing type of dude. If you've got a guy that's got some dough, that's always got the fucking you know the fucking eight balls in his fucking jean pockets, especially in those little Amiri jeans, in a little coin purse, right? He's got a little eight ball in that coin purse. You're gonna want to keep him close. Yeah. Don't be triste, my boy. Yeah, you feel yeah. me? No, you're I was pumped up for this week. You know, I was pumped up for the. Whatever, it is what it is, dog. I got, I got... Yeah, he's pissed, man. Bless him, he's actually pissed. Compa's actually legitimately pissed that it's ended. It's kind of sweet to see, I'm not going to lie. He's not acting too cool for school. He's not saying, fuck, fuck Adam 22, fuck no jump, but he's actually annoyed. He actually was looking forward to podding, looking forward to streaming, looking forward to hanging out. Aw. I had a uh, conspiracy theory. Okay, what, what are your conspiracy I think it's whack to be finger pie, man. And why I think he hated it. I think because uh, everything was getting tension, you know, the beef with Bray, beef with me, beef with everybody. You know, he pressed on Flacco and Flacco didn't flinch. So he's like, what the fuck? He was probably, I don't know. Now, I mean, like, at the end of the day. He is right, though. The beef and the negative attention that they were caught in was a bit too much, especially when it came to Adam 22's bumper. When Adam 22 was getting pressed and it was looking like they were going to pack him out somewhere in LA and he had to wave the white flag. That probably contributed to what's going on. But ultimately, I think it's a monetary decision. There were just too many invoices to pay. I'm going to play you another clip in a minute of the guys on No Jumper News talking about this whole thing. And you'll see how many people were in the studio. I think it was like seven or eight of them. Adam 22 was just paying too much money every month in, you know, clearing fucking invoices. And they probably weren't making it up on AdSense. They don't really get ads anymore outside of that betting company. I forgot what it's called, but they don't really get that many ads as they used to. So that place was bleeding money. So I think it was mostly a monetary decision, but also all the beefs didn't help. If you like, let's say that I'm not, I don't know if that's true or not. I don't believe that to be the case. What do you think it is? I literally just think it's a business decision. You know mm. what I mean? I really think it's a business decision. I'm, I'm sticking to what Adam said. You know what I mean? Like what he said, it sounds very, very, it makes sense fool. You know what I mean? Like, but at the same time, let's say that was true, right? You're a business owner. Would you want to operate in a capacity where there's such a high liability? Yeah, because, certain... you know, I, I clearly said it was just models. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you know I, I mean? I'm not referring to just you in general. I'm not referring to, to what I'm just saying overall, if there's, if you have a workplace and you have several employees that are, going at it constantly and yes does the drama bring trap yeah big up big up uh exactly big up is it mr big up mr you can see in it right lash is definitely watching his words he's learned for the last time he doesn't want to get fired again i don't blame him action yes do people watch it as a result but is it enough to justify the bottom line when you're talking about the overhead on a weekly and monthly 
I would answer it a little bit and say this. I think Adam 22 is not a good manager or an own or like a leader. He's obviously a good visionary, but I think in terms of managing people, he doesn't know how to do it well. I think there's a way to rewrite the ship, put it on course direct. Sorry, I think there's a way to course correct to no jumper without firing everybody. But I don't think Adam 22 has it in him to do that. He doesn't have it in him to put his foot down, to put some rules in in place, guidelines, whatever. He doesn't have it in him. So the easy thing to do, just fire everybody and start again. You know what I mean? That's kind of how you do it. If you don't want to have conversations about how you want the fucking content to look, what you're allowed to say, what you're not allowed to say, it's harder to do that sort of thing. He can't do it. He's not a really good communicator. So I think he just prefers just, hey, let's just cancel everything and then start from scratch and kind of work our way back up again. But I don't think these interviews that he's saying they're going to do, they're going to do them. I think they're going to stick to a couple of pods and that's basically it. And if a big guest wants to come down and have interviews, cool, but that's going to be it. So I think a lot of those guys who think they're still going to be there are also going to be in for a surprise. Basis, you know, like he made, but the, from what Adam's statement was, it's a business decision, and ultimately, regardless, I, I, I'm well aware of the way this industry works. No, that's true. That's a good point, um, Mister. The problem is comp provides no value to Adam. Yeah, that, that that's true. I, I don't think it's no value. I think that's probably a bit too harsh of a of a phrase. I think if anything, it's just you know those guys are easily i won't say easily replaceable but it's easy to get rid of a comper and keep the other guys in because you know comper's gonna hang around anyway he's he's tied to hip with lush he likes no jumper he's gonna be there anyway because you don't need to keep him on board he's gonna be there anyway so i think that kind of works out the other guys he's probably happy to kind of get rid of them works and i trust these i'm just happy for you yeah big up space guy well one no i mean like like, <laughs> like i'm it, it's not like whatever it is we're still winning because we still got motion. We're still going to be pushing the show. We got no jumpers blessing to continue rocking the show. You know what I'm saying? Like in the interim and that's what we've been to do. And it's all love. And we're going to continue to have this lane open for Rasa and any artists or any people that we believe in beyond that is man. Bless him, man. He's fucking gutted. I'm not going to lie. It's actually quite nice to see. He's not being too cool for school. He's not trying to act like he's not bothered and act like he's got some... Because like, everybody else, so you see on the news recently, in a minute, they're acting like they've got this big plan to take over and blah, blah, blah. He's actually really gutted. Like, fuck, man. I actually enjoy being there. I actually enjoy being up in that space. And you can imagine, too, for him being an LA guy and that platform being the main LA platform, it probably, you know, helped him business-wise, too. He probably got a lot more contacts from it, maybe some more bookings at his restaurants and shit. So it's probably been a net positive to be associated with No Jumper. So for it to kind of go away... He's like, fuck. It's not even limited to that specific demographic, but that was the whole intention from the jump. So we're going to continue to do that. And, uh, you know, like, I'm still very optimistic about the future. RIP. <laughs> RIP. <laughs> Moment of silence, G. Moment of silence for all the shows. Hey, you know, I... I you got to put moment of silence for I personally enjoyed all the shows. I think that they're... Anyway, you get the gist. They're not happy. They seem to be a bit upset, especially Compa. But I think in the end, it'll work out well for them. 